Hello there, my name is Ismail. So lately I have been uh, seeing a lot of this, these type of videos in my news feed, data visualization videos in my news feed, and uh, they're quite popular. You can see uh, this is about, it was posted about 13 hours ago, and uh, it's uh, about 80,000 views, and uh, this is about 30k views in a matter of one day. Uh, you can see this is uh, only three days and uh, 480 uh, views. This is a uh, one week, 2.3. 5 m uh, 2.5 million views in just one week so i tried to replicate them try to do them but uh, it turns out they are harder to make uh, than they look uh, doesn't matter what application you try uh, after effects blender they're quite hard so i thought if i can't unmade them manually uh, how about if i tried using something like python and uh, right now this is what I've been able to do. So what I do is uh, find data like this uh, in a CSV in a CSV file or Excel format. And uh, let me start. You can see this is a lot of data. So let me try. Let me start with something simple here, just to show you. And then uh, then we can switch to the uh, bigger data set. You can see this is not that large. So see we have an empty scene if i go to scripting i just need to make sure that uh, i have the right uh, path let's copy the name here and hit run and uh, everything should be set up yes you can see i get the names the bars uh, the only thing that is lacking is uh, a few things here. Uh, let me make sure that uh, a few things here. How these go on top of each other if uh, that data is uh, more is larger than if the increase is larger than uh, uh, the others. You can see how. Uh, so that's what is still lacking, but you can see. And this is the power of Blender combined with Python, uh, if you know some Python. And uh, I'm not really very good at Python, but uh, if I could do this, I can see it's not even a lot of lines. Let me make sure I, I think I added an extra character here. But uh, you can see it's not a lot of code uh, to produce this. Let's see, you just have to run it again, and everything unmates. Can even change uh, the scale of these bars, I just need to reduce, actually increase other figure here, my scale here, run again, now they are shorter. I think they're too short, so you reduce a few zeros from there, delete again, run. So, yeah, so, uh, I'm still working on this script to make it better, but uh, if you are a Patreon, uh, you can download the script and uh, try it out yourself. And uh, if you're very good at Python, you can also try and experiment with it and uh, improve it. Uh, let me just show you how it, how it would work on a larger data set like this. Let's see how much this is. Uh, so just need to find uh, the file name back here make sure I have nothing in my scene and just replace here then hit run yeah because this is a very large data set data set uh, it takes a bit of time uh, to compile or run yes uh, and uh, I just want to show you something here does take a while because it's quite a lot of data. Okay, I think we are done. And uh, just look at this. So try animating these all this data by hand. You can see each bar you see here is uh, a country. I think all countries in the world are being are being listed here. So uh, if we play back, I think. I have my scale set too high, so I need to reduce my scale down a bit. 
run a game. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because uh, because this is a very light data set, it's, it's, it becomes very hard to animate manually. So uh, that's why I would recommend anyone trying Blender to uh, tr at least have some knowledge and uh, try something in uh, Python. And maybe I'll start doing some Python tutorials. Yeah, this is done. Let's see. And see, just look at how much data this is. That is all data, and that is all animated. And see, it's, it's going out uh, over the maximum view distance. So you have to zoom in. I don't even remember what data set I'm looking at. Uh, this is users, uh, no, it's, it's not that, I think it's this. Number of internet users by country. And, uh, let's see how that everything is named. So the other thing I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'll be adding on this is uh, have other numbers the actual numbers or values here indicated and uh, playing back, counting up as these bars grow. Let's see. Yeah, so trying to animate this accurately uh, manually can take a lot of time. Uh, it even seems quite impossible to do accurately. So uh, that's why Python, Python scripting can really help here. So. I guess North Korea didn't have any data there, so, yep. Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted to show off. Uh, again, if you, don't, if you want to uh, try out this script, you can uh, just find it, uh, you can request it, uh, or find it in my Patreon, uh, on my Patreon page. I'll be leaving a, a link in the description. Thank you for watching.